coming in tonight. It's a real uh, pleasure to be able to talk about the work. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Wagner. I'm a senior here in the program. I'm an audio technology and computer science double major. Um, I've been working with William for about two years now, um, sort of exploring initially just how you use a computer as a musical environment, but then really starting to explore new ways of bringing technology and music together and bridging the gap between um, sort of robotics and interfaces and musical expression. Um, we've, I've worked for about a year now on this project, the goal of which is to make a robotic percussion system that is controlled by a user through motion capture technology. We started with the Wiimote, um, which you had mentioned somebody you know using Nintendo controllers, and it's great because it's a really cheap, low entry point into this type of work. Um, the type of data you need to capture can be tough to get for a low cost, and so it was a really good way to bring that in together. Um, I'll start with a little explanation of the system. It's, I call it the Mo Cushion System for Motion Capture Percussion. A little cheesy, but I think it's cute. Um, basically, we divide this into three components. There's the capture and control mechanism, there's the uh, translation mechanism, and then there's the actual mechanism, like the physical mechanism, and the overused mechanism a little bit there. But um, basically what happens is you wave the Wii mode around, that causes, uh, through a Bluetooth connection, data to get into the computer. The computer has a set of parsing algorithms that we've put together, which um, go through that data and say, okay, this is an event. This is a uh, indication of velocity. Um, that then gets sent out to a microcontroller known as the Arduino, which is a hobbyist uh, a microcontroller. That goes through a pretty um, robust circuit that was designed for this project, uh, which basically, without getting too complicated, translates that signal into something that's smooth and even for the motors on the mechanism to deal with. It also ups the power output a little bit, things like that. Um, so we'll just go ahead and show you kind of what the idea here is. Give it a second and the idea is basically this. You wave the Wiimote and you have a drum. So if we want to get a little more interesting, the next step, of course, is that's great, but we want to be able to have that play back, so set up what we call a sequence in audio terminology. So to do that, we just go and then push a button and push a few more buttons. Now. We have it playing double time right now when it plays back sequences. Kind of an interesting feature, bug, mix up there, you know. You can kind of pick your term, but. And so now we have a sequence that'll play back indefinitely until we stop it, until we change it. That's the same rhythm I played, but again, it's double time. So you can look at it as a couple of things. A, a manipulation or, you know, however you want to approach it. So the next idea is to, and we'll stop it so that it's not speaking over me, is to expand the system out to multiple of these, what we refer to this mechanism as a drum arm. So with an arm, right, on a traditional percussion system you would see a hi-hat, a snare, and what they refer to a kick drum. That's the low one with the really bassy sound. You would have, generally that's a, referred to as a trap kit, that's the basic drum set. There are other cymbals, there are other drums that you'll see involved. But our goal is to have three of these lined up on a normal drum set and then provide the user with the ability to control all three arms simultaneously so that they can create layered, sequenced drum rhythms in real time. Um, the sort of next step after that is to actually get rid of the Wiimote altogether it's, it's really, it loves playing. Um, and bring it into what these guys are going to talk about in a little bit, which is the infrared motion capture technology. Um, I am also a bass player and piano player, and my goal is to actually, rather than deduce, you know, when the event should happen, how fast it should be, that kind of information from a Wiimote motion, to actually use a bass and pick up your rhythm instrument from your performance on the bass. So when you hit a note on the bass, that tells the drum it's time to play. 
Um, your position in a three-dimensional space defines which uh, drum arm you're speaking to at that moment. And then what we do is we allow you to sequence, save sequences, and then again, utilizing your position in space, specifically in this instance, the neck of the bass, we hope to be able to allow you to trigger specific sequences on specific drums. So that really what you get is a single interface that allows you to have percussive as well as um, harmonic and um, rhythmic support underneath uh, from, from one performance location uh, to really try and bring those two things together. Um, that's been sort of my main interest is how do we allow a musician, an artist, to be expressive um, with the least number of barriers and in the most number of ways and you know really get rid of the barriers to that. Um, I don't know how much more time I've got, but I'd love to open it up to any questions you guys have, if you have any. Um, and I think we're going to, maybe the way we'll run it is uh, at the end we can have people, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, the plan I think is at the end, if you want to wave the Wiimote around and make it hit things, by all means, it's certainly not going to break anything. So <laughs> I already broke it earlier and then <laughs> fixed it. So you won't do anything that I can't fix. Um, all right, well, if you don't have any questions, I'll pass it along. And uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the chance to talk about it.